Hi everyone. Um, I'm new to this channel. I have never been on Kick before. I've done a little bit of stuff on Twitch and I'm just trying to learn the ins and outs of streaming. So I may be making a bunch of mistakes and not knowing what I'm doing and getting the files all messed up, which has been happening lately. But what I do is I have been a weaver and spinner and worker of, of yarns and crafts for over 30 years. I would even say how long because it makes me feel old. And I have been giving some workshops over the years and I run a website at allfiberarts.com and at pavatar.com and I did work in the high-tech industry for many years as well and this was a hobby on the side but it's become my way of life now uh, <clears throat> and people have been asking me to do zoom classes and teach them online and stuff and I really don't like the idea of zoom and a charging a fortune for a, for people to watch for an hour. Um, I'd rather just give the information freely to people and if they want to pay something then they can they can contribute. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm doing something called null binding or null binding or null binding or called my father called it Belkalokure, which in, in Finnish translates to thumb knitting. <clears throat> and it was done by people all over the world for five, six thousand years. There isn't a lot of historic evidence on it because it's a soft textile and it would have it would have um, uh, deteriorated in the graves, but they have found a few examples of it throughout the centuries. And <clears throat> it predates knitting, it predates crochet or or anything else like that because basically it's just wool that has been single spun and you pull off a length and you wrap it around your finger, which I will be showing you, and then to, to form the stitches. And the stitches become very stable and interlocked because you're going in and out of the, out of the loops three or four times. So if you cut a hole in this, it's not going to unravel like knitting does it. It actually is quite a fabulous material, which has been overlooked for many, many years. <clears throat> and then this one I'm using an Icelandic lopi yarn um, a lopi is a, a is a breed of sheep that's grown in that lives in Iceland and northern Nordic countries and and it has a long fur a long a long wool coat and that is very hairy and then the inner coat is very soft um, so it it's very good for outdoor wear and very hardy and and uh, will last you a long time. I find it a bit difficult personally to use because I, I find the wool starts to get too itchy on me and so I have to be very careful about what kind of wools I use. But I'm, I'm doing this sample because I think it actually works very beautifully for null binding and people, a lot of people that can wear itchy wools like it. So what I, I'm doing is I'm doing an, a Finnish 2 plus 2 stitch and um, I guess as I work through this series you will you will learn more about it. But for this particular piece, I'm just going to make it and let you watch. Um, I'm hoping with these different videos to be able to do a little bit in my studio every day or every couple of days with because I work on different things for about an hour or two a day and then I move on to something else. So I'll be doing weaving, I'll be doing spinning, I'll be doing band weaving, I'll be working on my big looms. Um, so whatever I happen to be working on, if I can get the camera to it, I'll try and do that. If you're in the chat, you know, please, please stop in and visit and follow and all that stuff. Um. Right, okay. So, Start the null bind. This finished stitch is called two is finished two plus two because what you do is you start. It's like crochet, but instead of working in this direction, you're working this way. So I pick up one stitch, the new stitch, and I pick up the old stitch. Then I have three stitches on my thumb from previous loops that I've tied. I'm picking one off my thumb and one from behind my thumb. That's a two, and then I come back. I rotate the needle and I come back and push this through. All the loops on my thumb and this creates a new stitch and once again I get three end up with three loops on my thumb so I pick up a new stitch an old stitch 
a third stitch and one behind my thumb and then I turn the needle and I come back Okay, there for the first six minutes. I'm going to stop this video and check whether this is actually working properly. But if it does, I'll be back soon. Thank you.